official ground record is 32 and a quarter thousand and I think it might be in jeopardy today. It was 2001, grand final, Newcastle Knights versus Parramatta. There was a big build up to the game and we, we went down to the um, grand final breakfast in Sydney. We were so, so relaxed and we knew we were up against a team that had an amazing season. The Parramatta boys come in, they had their black suits on, they looked stiff. And you could just see that the Parramatta players, are, they just didn't feel comfortable. You could see that they probably played the game over and over in their head. And this was the first indication for us that, that we were right on track and maybe our opposition were a little bit clammed up. And then fast forward to, to game day. Uh, we had 55 buses, you know, a lot of, probably 75% of the, the crowd were Newcastle Knights fans, so we knew we couldn't disappoint. And we were excited, we were so excited to be there. You know, we'd won three or four years earlier, but we had a new group of players. And I think that first half of footy, just everything worked. We just, we were on, we were on song, the boys, Joey was just pulling strings and black. Blokes were charging into holes and they try to, to build Pete and wholehearted and uh, never giving it an inch. And uh, there, there was a real good feeling in the group that uh, we were on. It was just one of those fairy tale experiences to actually score a couple of tries in a grand final and, and, a, and a winning grand final. Yeah, we were really starting to have some success and it started from our middle runners and then our edge, our edge back rowers and that were, were starting to have a bit of a, a field day. Jones pulled down. Five metres out now, Kennedy! Kennedy's over! Kennedy's in! Yeah, Ben Kennedy's the most athletic player I think I've ever played with. Uh, the way he moves um, for a big man, I don't think there's been, ever been any better, um, let alone for Newcastle, but in the game. So uh, yeah, we certainly had the, uh, the old Eels boys on the skids. We were always talking about the next 10 minutes. The next 10 minutes after halftime was going to be really crucial and um, when Tamana scored that try, off that kick and it bounced perfectly and put the ball down in the corner. Um, that's when the moment really set in that we're going to win this grand final. He does get a touch here, Tamana Tahu, but he's able to get to the ball before it touched the ground. So no knock on. There was a couple of seconds to go and I remember the ball went to Jamie Lyon and um, from watching him over a lot of years, in those situations he always kicks the ball and sure enough he kicked the ball and and it went nowhere and, and the hoon went and we were all just celebrating. You f wish you could hug the fans. There was uh, champagne getting sprayed around. We were, we were just having a great time. And we got the points again today. We never, we never give us, give us. The ball is on the ball. The backs they are a dream. We are the greatest football team that you will ever say. Hey! At that beautiful stadium down there at ANZ, uh, just after the Olympics, and we won 32-24 and celebrated long, long, long into the night.